hi and welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time viewing my channel please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always watching my video hello and welcome back to my youtube channel so on today's class we'll be sewing the underboss corset so in our previous class we drafted this pattern so if you haven't seen the drafting video you can go to my previous video so after drafting i made sure i added half inch for joining allowance for both my front and my back pattern and i also cut out my gum stay or paper stay then i cut out my wording and my lining i also did this for this side so for the back pattern i just cut out the lining and gum stay so also for this as you can see it's on fold i didn't add half at this edge so let's go and join so the first thing i'm going to do is to unpin this part and then join it while joining it i'm going to join it with the front i'm not going to join it at the back so i just cut out a single piece so i'm going to go ahead and join it in front the reason why i'm doing this is to achieve a neat finishing so i'll go ahead and go over to the machine and join it in front so i'm done joining it like i said i said i'm going to join it at the front part i hope you're seeing it because the table is black so as you can see the inside is neat that's the reason for doing this because i'm not going to be putting my knee so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and trim out all these excesses i have at this part be careful before you trim out your sewing So after trimming it, this is what I have. So I'll also go ahead and trim this part. So after trimming it, I cut out these pieces. So I'm going to use it to create a bone channel on it. So first I'm going to place it on this. Sew with half. Then after sewing with half, I'm going to clip it in. I'm going to flip it in and sew. So with that, I'm going to be covering here. I also trim off this part and create a bone casing for this. So right now, I'm done adding my bone casing. So I'm going to be adding my reginine or soyable bone in this later. The reason why I'm using a soyable bone is that I'm going to pipe here with my anchor letter. You can also do a double boning method. I can add more boning casing to yours, but I just wanted something is, uh, easy and simple. So by the time I'm done fixing the boning, it will be simple. So I'm going to move on to the upper part. So at the upper part, I'm just going to on pin my pattern so I'm just going to go and join it and then I'm going to iron my gum stay to my lining so this is what I have this is my lining and I'm just going to iron my gum stay to my lining. After ironing it, I'll also iron my wording to my fashion fabric. Then I'm going to do so for this part also. And then join it with half inch and then bring back and show. I've gone ahead and I've joined my pieces. So this is what the front looks like. I also notched my joining. So for the back, I ironed my gum stay and I also notched here. 
feel like it should be very relaxed. So after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and place I'm going to go ahead and place this part together and I'm going to pin it. So I'm going to sew with half. So I also need this spaghetti strip. If you noticed from the picture I uploaded, the hand there is just yeah, a spaghetti strip and it's not relaxed on the body, it's loose. So I cut 17 inches. So depending. So I'm going to pass it immediately. I'm going to put it inside and also sew so that by the time I flip it, it's going to be coming out on the right side. So let me head over to the machine and join here before we join it to the down part. So I'm done sewing. I sewed this half and I joined it together and I also notched it. So I'm just going to flip it open. So this is what I have. So I'm just going to also iron it so that it should be more relaxed. So the next step we're going to take is to infuse it to this lower part. As you can see, I didn't sew this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it. But before I turn it, I'm going to place it together and get the needle. Make sure I have the needle. And I'm going to go ahead and notch it at the middle. So for this part, I'll also flip it together. Then I'm going to notch it at the middle. So this notching will tell me, I'll use it to determine where the upper part of this part of the underboss corset to start. So here, yeah. so I'm going to place that notched part. I'm going to flip this open, and I'm going to place this on it on that notched part. Then I'm going to sew with half. I'm going to also place it together. This part missing this part. Then I'm going to sew it to the end and also sew this to the end. After sewing it, I'm going to turn it or bring it out from this side. So this is the reason why I've not yet put it boom so that it, I won't have difficulty in bringing it out. So let me go back to the machine and sew it and then notch it after sewing and then flip it open. So I'm done sewing and I also notched round so that it will give me a flat look. Then I'm just going to bring it out from the side. So I'm done turning it out and this is what I have. So after turning it out, at this side that I turned it out from, I'm just going to fold it in with half and I'm going to top stitch. So I'm going to be doing it for both sides too. Then I'll go ahead for the back piece. So for the back piece, I'm just going to unpin my pattern. So I'm going to iron my paper stay on my lining. So after doing that, I'm just going to sew half inch right round. And then I'm not going to sew the down part because I'm going to be inserting my boning through there, my reddening boning through there. And I'm also going to be creating a boning channel at the center. So feel free, you can make any amount of boning channel you want but i'm just going to create one so i've gone ahead to stitch the sides so this is what i have 
as you can see i have a neat finishing both on the inside and the outside and i don't have any rough edges so i'll bring my back pattern so i've created my bone channel so i'm going to flip it to the back so i created 0.5 then 0.7 for my eyelid 0.5 for my for my boning channel and another one at the center so i'm just going to place it to my side and i'm going to stitch or so with half sorry i made a mistake in placing the pattern i'll just place it back correctly while sewing so i'll go ahead and cut out an ankara strip to wrap the down part so this is my under bust corset so as you can see i've joined the sides so the inside is very neat as you can see very neat and i've gone ahead to insert my eyelids so this is what the outside looks like So after that, I'll go ahead and insert my bony, my plastic, sorry, my soluble bony. So I've already inserted to this part. So I'll go ahead and insert this one. After inserting it, I'm going to use this strip to turn the mouth then i'm going to also iron it so that i'm going to have a very flat effect as you can see it, the bone is going up so i'm going to iron it when i'm done so i'll go ahead you can also insert your plastic bone at this point but it's not going to reach the mouth. And I forgot to attach the hand while sewing this part. So I'm just going to place it here and top stitch it. So I'll bend it a little so that it will relax. After passing my boning, I wrapped the mouth with my Ankara fabric. So this is what I have. This is the underboss corset. So as you can see, the inside is very neat so I'm going to also iron those down parts so that it will be straight and not stretchy because the net fabric I used is a bit stretchy so I'm just going to iron it very well and I also created lacing for the back so this is it so you can make about 40 to 50 inches depending so this is the underboss corset hope you love the finishing and the outcome so if you so if you're liking this tutorial to this point please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not yet subscribed so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark where i'm going to be attaching my skirt so if you want to create a bust look at this point you can so depending on what you want but i'm just going to create a very simple i'm just going to create a simple design i'm just going to attach my skirt straight so the first thing you're going to do is to get your tape so this is an off shoulder and i used minus five so i placed my tape and i got my under bust which is 12. make sure after sewing that you get your original under bust is supposed to align so after that i'm going to go ahead and mark where i want to attach my skirt so i'm going to place it round and i'm going to mark at the front and i'm also going to mark at the back so i already have a skirt that i made so i'm just going to attach it 
to the underboss corset. So going to the back, I also place my tape and I'm going to mark. Then afterwards, I'm just going to go ahead and attach the skirts. Please note for your skirts, as while drafting this underboss corset, we left 1.5 inch at the back. You're also going to do that at your skirts. Going to turn or fold in 1.5 at your skirts area so if you want to create a bust look you can easily draw it out or mark it on your skirt before attaching to your underboss corset so i'm done attaching it to my underboss corset my skirt to my underboss corset and this is what i have this is my final look please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel if you find this video helpful thank you for also watching my video